Ready to make a 15 minute Friday? Yeah. Let's do it. It's been a minute. Let's man. do it. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute, but I'm glad you're back. We're so, back. <laughs> before I officially introduce you, yes. we got to say hi to the people. So, hello, What's everyone. Welcome What's to the show. On? This is a 15 minute Friday with myself and a returning guest. I guess that I'm super excited to chat with. Yes. We sit down one more time, but this time we're talking about a specific topic or subject with the goal and even the hope, I would yes, say, of sending you into your weekend or your upcoming week with some maybe positive, actionable, or thought-provoking advice and opinion. You're hearing him. He's on the other side of the table with me in this episode. He's back. It's, it's been me. a minute. <laughs> My friend, Sir William Fairbanks, back on the show. Dude. What's going on, family? Thanks so much for being down here. Yeah, the thank you for having me back. We're here. I'm always stoked. <laughs> well, you know what? You and I sit and we talk for hours upon hours when we're doing something normal yeah. in general. So I'm excited that we're making this happen yeah. and that you're always down to come and like, you know, record it it's and share pleasure. it with other people. It's my pleasure. So I'm going to get our clock up and running Very here good. because this is a 15 minute Friday. So even well, though well, you and well. I can, we can talk for <laughs> hours and hours, but we need to make it happen in yeah. just around 15 minutes Let's for this episode. So the topic of this episode is uh, in general, just building finding, maintaining confidence as a creative. Mm -hmm. A conversation that probably everyone creative everywhere has with all of their creative friends. Huge. Because there's a ton of different things to battle within this. I mean, it's a conversation that I know I've had multiple times on this show. Mm -hmm. Because there's so many different like realms of what it means to be confident as a creative. Facts. Probably the most glaring thing that everybody deals with is imposter syndrome. Mm-hmm. Right, of just like feeling like oh, I don't belong here. I'm not good enough. The thing I'm making isn't good enough. And honestly, like one of the main things that I want to throw to you to start this mm-hmm. is like having the confidence, unlocking it is one thing, but then maintaining it is another. Keeping up that confidence and that self belief right. belief is a whole other thing. Does William Fairbanks ever have a mentally or energy wise an off day? And then, what does William Fairbanks do to push through that? Man, um, and all, honestly, I just had this, a friend asked me just the other day, she was like, yo, do you have bad days? And um, in all honesty, I have days that are better than others, right? But for me, all days are good, you know? Every day that I'm breathing is a blessing. Um, it's an opportunity to do better, to grow, to improve on what was right um but there are days where i have to work to find the energy i have to decide to chase the dream i have to decide to do the thing that i love right Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it's funny because oftentimes people like oh you love it like it should be no don't don't buy into that hype we can't buy into that hype because it's false right oftentimes it's You'll have times where you don't have the inspiration more times than you will have the inspiration. Yeah. Right. And for me, when those things, when those days happen, I always ask myself, what do you want and how bad do you want it? Right. Because, and I learned this from my professor, um, Robert Olmsted. He is my creative writing workshop professor, my favorite professor. Um, and he taught me, he said, and this is in regards to writing, because I'm a writer as well, he's like, yo, write something every day. Even if you don't feel like writing, write something every day. I don't care if it's bad, I don't care if it's the best thing in the world, write something every single day. And before you know it, you'll look down and you'll have a book, right? Mm -hmm. Now you might have to go back and fine tune it, but I think to answer your question, on those days when it is harder to find the energy and it's harder to find the inspiration, I'll always remember that consistency is key, right? There's a lot of people that only operate when they're excited for something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's 100% accurate. There's there's some people that are like, oh, man, let's go do this. I'm hype. I think there's a lot of people that get stuck in that. You you understand it, Mm -hmm. right? I see it all the time. I have friends, I have family that is doing it. I'm like, yo, you have to do it when you don't want to do it. Yep. You have to become obsessed with this. Like I, I wrote it on um, my social media the other day. I'm like, I'm obsessed with this. I love this so very much. And it's just like in a relationship, just because you love something doesn't mean it's always going to be easy. Doesn't mean it's always going to be inspirational. It means that regardless of how you feel, you're going to pursue it and you're going to build upon it. Yep. So 
to answer your question, I always remember those things. I always ask myself, what do I want? I always ask myself, um, how bad do I want it? And those are the things that really keep me pushing. So is that kind of how you feel like you maintain sort of like even just energy as a creative? Because that's like, because like the mental part is one thing, right? If you wake up and you're just like tired, you're lagging, you're like, right. man, I don't, <laughs> right. I don't know. And like, you know, you and I have talked about this, um, you know, because you and I have, have become some gym people in the last like year or you so, you it. know? You see it on it's his happening. face. It's, it's happening. It's happening. on you. It's looking good on you. And you know, I've, I've known, you know, you, you've posted some days you're like, yo, I didn't feel like coming here today, but Hatch. here I am in the gym, right? And so it's like, whether it's like the mental part, let's talk more of like the creative part. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of times where I personally almost get trapped in that like, I loved the idea of doing something and I really wanted to do it. And then there's just some days where I'm like, man, like I kind of wish I didn't schedule that shoot. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know if I can go in and, and do a good job at recording this conversation for this right. podcast. Like, so when it comes to that creative side of things, is it just like, do you just remind yourself like, no, I like the creative, I don't know, energy that I'm going to put into this mm -hmm. gives me more of the result that I want, which is growth and all that sort of stuff and career moves and all that. But like, what is it that you remind yourself of? Or like, what are the ways that you keep yourself pushing even creatively? Because I think I ask that because mm -hmm. again, something I deal with, yeah, but it's super easy for a lot of creative minded people, people mm -hmm. who create of any sort to really get in their own way. And it's like, okay, I'm, I'm having a bad day. I'm having an off day. I don't know. I don't even know how to come up with an idea today. I don't know how to finish this painting. I don't know mm -hmm. how to take this photo. I don't know how to, you know, whatever it is. What do you feel like has worked for you? Like, what do you remind yourself of? Or is it stuff you've already said? You know, maybe this is a silly question and you're like, ah, we're just going to rehash what I just said. Like, no, it's a couple of things that I do. Um, I revisit my own works. I'm going to scoot this closer to you. Go also. Ahead. Let me get it. Let me get it. Are y'all catching me? Good. Check. I revisit my old work. Oftentimes, um, sometimes I get so caught up in it, you know, that it's like, dang, I don't even see how far I've come. Right. One of the biggest things that keep me going is understanding how far I've come. Yeah. Looking at it and say, oh, snap, you're you're miles from where you're at. Right. And also I have a competitive gene in me, too. So it's like, yo, somebody else is working. One of my mentors used to tell me this all the time. He's like, bro, there's somebody out there that's working harder than you. Facts. What you going to do about it? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so with that, um, I also find rest. Sometimes I'm just like, yo, William, you got to get the rest. You got to press, press the pause button. Rest is productive. It's very productive, right? If, I'm not, if, I can't, if I can't think because I'm so tired, right, you need rest for your mind to actually operate. And that's the the minimum foundation one like for instance today it was a crazy day you mm -hmm. know i woke up at 6 30 i had a shoot at um 7 30 that i had to be there at the shoot went from 7 30 to let's say 1 1 30 from there i had to go get the i had to go change get myself together right and now i'm here right and that's a couple of things that's obsession that's me wanting to be the goat <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's me right. wanting to be one of the best one of the dopest right that's also me thinking about oh i gotta get my mama house you know oh my uncle just hit me the other day he's like yo when you are up um all i want is a truck <laughs> <That's what he's laughs> you know so it's like I have these things in my mind. I have, oh, I come from the hood, right? I come from nothing. I also have that in my mind. Oh, don't forget them. You know what I'm saying? 700 block, we here. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're still here. I'm thinking about all the kids that I can send to camp, all the people that I can help with their grocery, help with their rent, help them get to another level, right? This isn't just about me. It's never been about me, right? It's never been about just creating. That's something that I just love to do, and that's the gift that God gave me right? It gets back to me remembering my purpose. Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Why am I so dope at this, right? Mm -hmm. Because if I take all these things for granted, that's when it's like, I'll find a reason to sleep. I'll find a reason to not show up. I'll find a reason to not study. Because me, the clothes, the gear, whatever, that's not enough, right? <laughs> that's never enough. You have to have something that trumps all of that to keep me going. Well, something that's not materialistic also. You Facts. know what I mean? It's not, it's not having the flashiest anything. It's like, 
what do you feel inside? Right. Do you feel that drive? Do you feel that like you ability to push through? You yeah. find, and don't get me wrong, I like looking fresh. Of I like course. looking clean. I yeah. like that. I like yeah. that appearance because that's a that's a um, showcase of what's already in here. It's still a form of self expression. It's expression, right? Um, another way that I keep the energy is I keep I watch the company I keep. Right. I don't yeah. have a lot of friends <laughs> like I don't spend a lot of time with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Right. Because dream killers are everywhere. Right. And it's not even them being intentionally like trying to kill your dream. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oftentimes it's just them projecting. Right. You know, I tell people, I'm like, yo, this is what I want to be. I want to be worldwide. I want to be international. I want to be universal. Right. I want to touch the stars. And they like. They don't even have the capacity to think like that. So in return, they say, dumb it down, you know, bring it down. Like, side note, we were just chatting about this. Uh, Fiji, I'm working on something, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fiji, if you're seeing this, holler at your boy. But I've told people that, right? Yeah, we're here, right? I've told people like, yo, I'm going to get, you know, some type of deal with Fiji. And people, you also have, and there's two sides to every coin, but I found it more times than people saying, dope, don't, go do that shit. People saying, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll happen. Are you sure? Like, you're really going to spend all that money on Fiji? And it's like, bro, you spend money on, on Nike. You spend money on alcohol. You spend money on weed, on whatever, whatever it is, yeah. right? You're spending money on all these different things. I'm spending it on something, but at the same time, I'm pushing it. I'm letting them know that I'm supporting them while at the same time growing, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't keep a lot of people in my circle. Another thing, and the people in my circle are dream fillers. You know what I'm saying? Dream getters. They're, they're saying, oh, bet, go for it, yeah. right? My love language is words of affirmation. I'm very proud to say it. I need it. It's been a part of me my whole life. Part of the reason why my confidence is so crazy right now is because my mother, we've talked about it before, mm -hmm. my mother has really told me that I could do whatever I want, and I've believed it, right? So I can't allow anybody. My mama used to tell me this all the time. She says, if I don't talk to you like that, nobody should talk to you like that, Right? I don't care what it is. And I've, I've, for a second, I was like, what does that even mean? But now that I'm getting older and wiser, I'm like, okay, I get it. My mother protected me from all the doubters, all the haters. And at this point, I'm at the point where I tell the homies, I'm like, bro, like, if, you, if you're not hyping me, no offense, but we can't kick it. Like, if, if I tell you an idea and you're not over excited right yep. then we can't kick it because the thing is it's not just me i'm gonna do it to you too i'm gonna build you up too i'm gonna hype you up too right so that's another thing that i do i keep my circle very small and i keep my circle very intentional yep. right another thing that i do i've stopped taking or stopped listening to the opinions of people who are operating at my level or above my level right people will always have ideas People will always have thoughts. People will always say, do it this way or do it that way, right? People will always say, oh, you shouldn't do it that way, right? Everyone has these ideas. Execution. That's what I look for, right? I'm like, are you executing? Like, for, for instance, you, we just talk, talked about it. We could chat all day because I see you doing it and I'm inspired by everything you're doing. That's a way that I keep my energy. I've surrounded myself with people like you where I'm like, oh, Ross working today, William. Like, yeah, you tired, <laughs> but Ross is working today. What are you going to do, right? And for a while, because I'm not perfect, no one's perfect, I found myself believing the opinions of other people or not even believing them, but getting frustrated by them, right? It used to drive me up the wall. I'm like, bro, like, you, you think that this is easy. Oh, if I had a camera, I'd do this. Oh, if I had a microphone, I'd do this. Like, that's so disrespectful to the craft. Not even to me, but to the craft, right? And I made a decision at some point. I'm like, you know what? Unless you are operating at where I'm operating and you understand everything that I'm putting into this, or you've done it, I, no offense, but I can't take what you say to heart. Mm-hmm. Because at that point, you don't even know. 
And when you listen to the opinion of too many people, you end up lost, you end up confused, you end up tired. So I've stopped listening to a lot of people and I keep my circle very small. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that goes into like that kind of like classic saying of like, don't ask for advice from somebody who's not doing something that you want to do or is Facts. not where you're wanting to go. Facts. And that's not to say that other people's outside perspectives couldn't maybe bring some value in some way. Cause like, Facts. I think it's like, yeah, you shouldn't only take uh, advice from other filmmakers right. or other directors right. or whatever. Cause like it might be valuable for aunt. So-and-so Facts. could say one thing that you're like, you know what? I never thought about it like that. Facts. Like outside perspective is, is valuable. Great. But when you're seeking the advice you're seeking the opinion i'm 100 with you of like yes find it from someone who's doing something or is somebody that you're like i want a piece of what they're doing i want to be where they are right or if it's constructive let me make it clear like as long as it's constructive it can be from anyone exactly right yeah and it doesn't have to exactly what you're saying it doesn't have to be somebody in my field right but when i say operating at the level that i'm operating at is like yo you could be a chef yep like you could be a teacher you could be a professor but like when you're operating at the level at which we're operating you 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 come at it with a certain energy mm-hmm. right you come at it with an understanding that it's tough because I can look at a hooper and be like, damn, the work that it takes for you to be great. You know what I'm saying? And they could be like, I could be like, make sure you get your rest, fam. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the same thing. That's 100%. Like, I remember. It's universal. Yes. Like, I, uh, like, for instance, like, and I'm sure tons of people did this, but like, you know, I watched, uh, was it Last Dance documentary, Michael Jordan, The yes. Bulls, all that sort of stuff. Like, Literally, I don't watch basketball. I've never really been a fan of basketball, all that sort of stuff. But I watched that entire docu-series, loved it, and was insanely inspired. Yes. It has nothing to do with like, oh, we're, I'm, I'm also pursuing a basketball exactly. career. Exactly. It was like, no, no, no I'm pursuing greatness. Exactly. I'm pursuing that exactly. power and that energy. So seeing that, hearing that, understanding somebody of like, all right, what does, what does somebody like Michael Jordan do? Or what does someone like his teammates do? Like anybody – how do they operate? Because that's the stuff. Those are the advice and opinions or things that I want to learn from and absorb. Facts. That's the thing. So that, that again, like same level or much, much higher, obviously, in that right, case. Right, right, right. right. We on our way, We're on our way, though. But though. we're getting there. You know what I'm saying? We got to shoot for the stars. So we have broken our 15 minutes, but one final thing I know you wanted to talk Chat about is the power of asking. Because you've also mentioned throughout this episode, like mentors, and, and again, we're talking a lot about like, getting advice and opinion from other people and all this right. sort of stuff. I know you wanted to talk about the point and, and the power in asking and how that plays into confidence. So what was it that you kind of wanted to dive in with that? Like, I think that um, a great way to build confidence is being told no over and over and over and over again, right? Resilience, building that tough skin. Because at the same time, you could – you can ask the right question to the right person and your world can change, right? Being able to say, no matter what, I'm going to ask for help. I'm going to ask for guidance. I'm going to ask for opportunity, right? I think that people are so afraid of being told no when that no is actually the protein that makes the confidence grow right me being told no has i don't fear it anymore right once you get rid of that fear your confidence skyrockets right i tell everybody like man you better just ask 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 because if they told you no then you know not to seek whatever you're looking for in that area anymore over there you go somewhere else and find it when you ask you receive right what the um I read it in Malcolm X's autobiography um, when he was younger. I forget the situation, but he said the squeaky wheel gets the oil, right? Make some noise because not everybody is meant to help you on your journey, right? You have to find the person that's meant to be there with you and help you grow, 
right? I've come in contact with lots of people. I've asked people many questions. I've asked for funding. I've asked for guidance. I've asked for mentorship. And I've been told no, 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 no. Sometimes I've been told no, like, hell no. <laughs> like, I've been told, like, don't ask, right? And it hurt. But the thing is, I have to remember, and it goes back to, I guess, which is like the essence of confidence, which is purpose. Once you remember that thing, you say, you know what, I'm going to ask again. I'm going to ask again. I'm going to ask again. And eventually, that paired with practice, persistence, right, execution, now I'm getting less no's, right? Mm -hmm. And now even the crazy part is now the questions is coming to me, yep. which is the wild thing. And sometimes, I'm going to digress for a second. Sometimes the questions don't even have to be externally, right? I'm asking myself all the time. I'm holding myself accountable all the time. William, did you do enough? William, were you wrong in that situation? William, what does it take? We are just talking about it just a second ago. What does it take? Okay, yeah, if you've got love, you've got this base, you've got, you've got, you're building it. William, what does it take to get to the next level, right? Because, again, if you don't have the right circle, no one's going to ask you that. You have to be able to ask yourself, why are you sad? Why are you tired? Why are you stressed? Ask God. I do it all the time. I ask God, like, yo, what's the answer? <laughs> How do you figure it out? You know, and oftentimes he's like, look inside, young child. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's what I mean by the power of asking. Because if you don't ask, I guarantee one thing, you're not going to get the answer. Yep. Yep. Right? Or you're not going to learn the answer. Right? Because sometimes we, we don't ask, but we're taught a lesson. But if we're blaming everything else, instead of saying, what did I play in that? Even if it's a blessing, right? How did I receive this blessing? Mm -hmm. That's how you get the answers to success. And that's how, through success, you gain confidence. I love it. Love. We've definitely made a 15-minute Friday happen. So before we wrap things up, yes. last bit of advice. This is what I would love to hear from you. It's yes. like, let's say someone's listening to this right now or watching it, whatever it is. Yes. They don't feel confident, right? right? They haven't had that confidence built and instilled into them growing up. They feel like they are just like uh, everything we talked about. They feel like an imposter all the time. Like they're starting at ground zero. Right. What's a small collection of advice or initial steps that you would share with that person? Like if they came up to you right now and asked you, hey, I'm a very, I'm, I'm unconfident. And I feel like an imposter with everything that I try and do and create. What advice do you have for me? What would you tell them? I would say... And, you know, check the records. This is what I say all the time. You're a child of God. In that, you have purpose. When you're a child of the Most High King, that makes you a king. That makes you a queen. Right? Understand that. Understand that the world is yours. Understand that what you're dealing with is not an isolated situation. Everyone's dealing with it. Right? Right? But at the same time, recognize and remember that this world was built for you. At this moment, if you're watching this and you're struggling, take a breath. The world is built for you. Right? We are the smartest people, are the smartest creatures on this planet. Recognize who you are. Understand that with time and persistence, it might not be easy but when you believe in something and you're willing to put the work in, hard work always pays off. Keep God first. Remain humble. You know, tell somebody you love them, right? Tell yourself you love yourself. And you know what I'm saying? If at the end of the day, again, check the records again. If you need somebody and you need somebody to chat to, hit me up. Hit me up. I'm willing to be that person. I don't have all the capacity in the world, but I'm willing to say I love you. I'm willing to say you're great. I'm, re I'm willing to remind you that you have purpose and that you're great. So I think those are the biggest things. Um, remember that you're a child of God and remember that you have purpose. Remember that this earth was built for you. Really, we're stuck perfectly in alignment to habitat, habitate and have life. Like, really, we don't think about that enough. 
Like we're really set up perfectly, right? And if that's the case, you got to have some type of purpose. You got to have some type of reason. Don't lose that. The world will try to tell you that it's that you don't have purpose and that you're not great. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. You're great. You're amazing. Um, yeah, and start today. I don't care how young you are. I don't care how old you are. And I don't care how many mistakes you make, right? I made many a mistakes. I've said the wrong things many a time. Don't be afraid to make those mistakes because you learn from those. Hopefully you learn from those. And I mean, I could go on for days, but yeah, those are, those are the things, Ross. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, William, my friend, where can people find you on the internet? Um, check me out on Instagram, all other social handles at Will underscore Fairbanks. You can check out what I'm doing in the world of Will Fairbanks as far as the things that I'm creating through also through my company, through my brand, Tor, at Tor Pros. That's at T-R, no, at T-O-R-P-R-O-S. Love. Boom. We did it. That's a 15-minute Friday, my, man, my give friend. Me give me five. We did, give it. Me. We did <sighs> it. That's 15 or, you know, around bang, like 25 bang. minutes. That's yeah, right. we did it. We did it. We did it, though. <laughs>